Okay, guys, I think we know what sport is next. Archery. Time to snipe some people. No, Joe, we are shooting at targets, not people. Oh, that sounds fun as well. You best believe I'll be hitting bullseyes nonstop. Wait, that there are bulls in this game? No, Joe, the center of the target is called the bullseye. Oh, I see. What difficulty should we play? Expert. I was thinking beginner because I'm new to archery. How about we go in the middle and play intermediate? All right. Okay, Joe, you're up first. I'm expecting great things from you. I'm not. Well, let's see what he can do. Okay, who do I shoot at? Joe, you're not shooting at anyone. You're supposed to hit the target. Where's the target? It's right in front of you. Just 15 yards away. How about I shoot this tree instead? What the hell? Got him! That sucker couldn't dodge that one. Joe, you don't get any points for shooting at the tree. Oh, shit. I guess I'll aim for the target now. Decent. Hey, not bad for a rookie. That's more points than days in the week. Now, let's see if that was just beginner's luck. Oh, the temptation to snipe down the left tree. No, control yourself. For once. And be responsible. I don't think the owners of the resort want their trees looking like porcupines. All right, Donnie, let's see what you got. A bucket of tens. Let's see it then, big shot. Decent chance Donald misses his first arrow. Barack, you know me too well to think that. Hurry up, Don. I need to perfect my aim. It's really not that deep. There's only a one mile per hour wind, Don. That's enough to make a difference. Wow, Donnie's starting off strong. And there's more where that came from. Then show it with your actions, not words. Bet. Whoa, there's no way. You must be cheating. Just like you during the election. Donald, did you just admit to cheating? <laughs> no, I'm just pulling your leg. I'm all skill, no hacks. And I'm all hacks, no skill. What? Ha ha ha, I'm just kidding. I'm surprised you fell for that one Barack. Oh, shut up, you guys. Wow, Donald gets a turkey. Donnie's showing why he's the best. Looks like I got some competition. You better believe it, Obama. Man, this game is crazy for having moving targets. You're not wrong. Or if you're Joe, you have stationary tree targets. Or if you're Barack, you have stationary grass targets. I'm not gonna hit the grass, Don. Prove it. Bam! Wow, he did. And I'll do it again. I guess the resort is not going to be able to rely on Barack to trim the grass here. I'd say you're better for that job. Honestly, I could see Don rolling around here on one of those huge lawnmowers going to war against the army of grass blades. That does actually sound like fun, not gonna lie. Guys, we aren't mowing lawns, we are playing archery. What about grass-flavored archery? You might be onto something with that, Joe. What the hell are you guys talking about? Just some potential business ideas. Also, Barack, I see you've copied my score. Not gonna let you take the lead. Holy shit, there's a waterfall. And we're in a cave. This is actually beautiful. Me and the boys shooting arrows in a cave. Who would have thunk? Why does Don get to go first this time? It goes in order of highest points. So basically that means I'll always be going first. Not with me around. Missed the bullseye, Donnie. Darn target started moving away from my arrow. The target has always been moving, Don. You just didn't aim right. Time to get some revenge on this crooked target. Get him, Donnie. Joe, why are you cheering for him? I'm not, I just want to see the target lose. Boom. Got him right where it hurts. Guys, the target doesn't have feelings. It is an inanimate object. Well, then why is it moving? It must be alive. It's on a motor, guys. Believe what you want to, Barack. Me and Joe know the truth. Honestly, I'd say that the target rivals your guys' intelligence. Well, that's not saying much considering the target's very high intelligence. Yeah, that target moves left and right to dodge our shots. He's a tacky guy, that's for sure. Guys, let me repeat. It's an inanimate object. That's just what they want you to believe. The target flies back whenever it gets hit. And there's no way you can say it doesn't feel the arrows. It even tries to play into the wind to make it harder to hit. Enough nonsense, guys, and watch me blast another 10-point shot. Decent finish, Obama, if I do say so myself. Thanks, Don. Ten. Okay, time for me to lay down some damage. Show that target you mean business, Joe. Damn it, that target is a squirrely one. He really did duck to nearly avoid that shot. Oh my god, you guys. Kablamo. Holy shit, Joe. Bullseye out of nowhere. The target did not see that coming. I caught him just at the right time. Now finish this round strong, Joe. Shit. Not your best. But surprisingly, not your worst either. That gosh darn shifty ass target. God damn, Obama, you're beating me by one point. And you best believe I'll be maintaining my lead. Don't get too caught up with your one point advantage. It is all I need to win. You're not wrong. But holy green earth, guys, look at this cliffside we are on. Yeah, this is elite. The big drop has me a bit nervous, though. I think there are even cycling trails that ride up here. Oh, God, just the thought of that scares me. Guys, watch this. What are you up to now, Obama? Looks like he is starting a siege against the castle. Seems like a risky play. Bingo. Holy shit. Oh my god. A cantalupe. The legendary cantalupe. I can't believe it. But why is there a massive cantalupe by the castle? I honestly don't know. 
No more slicing the cantaloupe, though. Says the person who was shooting trees. We should stick to attacking the common enemy, the target. I agree. Some decent winds blowing left I have to deal with here. Probably because you ate a lot of beans at Taco Bell earlier. Don, I think it's best if we step to the side in case he has a, a blast of gas. I'm not going to cut wind, guys. It's safe. I don't know if I trust that. Well, you're up next, so you should focus on your shots. You got some rightward wind now. Probably because Barack spun a 180. Oh, that's it. Now I might actually pass a gust of wind in your general direction just to spite you. Bullseye. Barack, please don't. The last thing I need is a mixture of winds while playing archery. Wouldn't that be like convection? Yeah, I, I think so. And convection currents can cause hurricanes. So, Barack, if you line yourself up right, you could start something. Don't give him ideas, Joe. It's time to start a cyclone. Oh, shit. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, my God, you had me there. Barack is trying to throw me off. Nope, I'm just trying to blow you away. I see what you did there. That was punny, Obama. I was wondering what would happen if I fired an arrow straight up in the air. Then it hit me. Ha, 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 literally and figuratively. Good one, Joe. But let me see if I can pull some strings here and clock in some points. Oh, my God, Joe. Pulling strings in archery. Ha, 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 ha. The dad jokes are strong. I figured you guys would like those ones. Now set up your archery game to be as good as your puns, and you'll be all right. Bet. Not bad, Joe. But it's not like you'll be beating me in Barack, though. I'll still be able to get a podium finish. Considering that there are only three of us, I suppose it's impossible not to. I like those odds. Who wouldn't? Your mom. What? Got him. Holy shit, Barack. Oh, Obama is up by two points now. Goddamn. Oh my god, we're out by the water now. And the best part is that if you miss a shot, you still may be successful in spear fishing. I wonder what type of fish live around here. Probably some tasty ones. Okay, now you're making me hungry. You and me both. Mmm, we should get some fresh fish after this game. Hell yeah. But first, let me finish destroying you in archery. The only thing you'll be destroying is your scoreline after you sink some shots into the ocean. What the hell? How is that eight points? It's clearly an eight Obama. I'm almost surprised it wasn't a seven. And by the looks of it, your hands are getting shaky. Shut up. I'm Steady and ready. To lose. Holy shit, this game is going to be close. There's definitely an opening for me to pull off a miraculous comeback. Your chance of victory will be all but lost after this shot. What you got? Bullseye. Holy shit, a burrito. This just got intense. I'm feeling confident with that finish. Time for me to get cooking. You need 29 points in this stage to tie with Obama. And 30 for a win. No chance you win. Oh, watch me, Barack. 40 yards away from glory or disaster. Shit. And my victory is secured. Congrats, Obama. You finally won a sport. That wasn't fair. My finger slipped. No excuses, Donnie. You know, you just got outplayed. Boom. Solid shot, Donald. I might have slipped up, but I will always finish strong. To be honest, you played pretty well, but there was no way you were going to beat me in archery. I guess that makes us all even in wins now. I believe so. Make this last shot count, Donnie. There it is. Pew. Respectable finish. Thanks. What I'm wondering about is who came up with the idea to put this final target in the middle of the ocean. Joe raising the real questions. And if we went diving, would we find a huge bed of arrows stuck into the ocean floor from missed shots? Probably, but I won't be adding to it. Good, because that would be littering. I'd say it would only be littering if it was intentional. Is there a littering handbook we could refer to for answers? A, a, a littering handbook? If that's a real thing, I want one. A book that teaches the best littering practices. Guys, littering is always bad. That's literally the definition of littering. I guess you have a point. Well, GG, guys. GG. GG. All right, now it's time to go eat some fresh fish. Absolutely. And then we'll come back and play the next sport. Which I will dominate. Oh, we'll see about that.